Hey guys, how's it going today? Shane, it's Shane Hubbard Nutrition and Fitness. Today we're going to talk about the most important 10 seconds before you take that first bite of food. So a lot of times people kind of eat mindlessly. I mean, I would I would argue that I've done that plenty of times. Uh, I'll be at a party or be, I'll be doing whatever around the house and I just mindlessly grab some food, put it in my mouth, and then start chewing and go about my day. When we sit down at meals or any time we eat, we, we live in a world we actually have to be a lot more conscious about what we're eating than we have pretty much ever had to be in the past. Sure, there's plenty of foragers and hunters that had to think twice about picking up the mushroom that killed their cousin two weeks ago, but at the same time, we have to think about all the different decisions we have because we have more decisions when it comes to food than we've really ever had and that decision can sometimes be overwhelming, but more importantly, it can be mindless. And when something is mindless, you're not aware of it, and when you're not aware of it, you can't fix it. So the best thing to, get, to do when you start getting more conscious about your weight or more conscious about wanting to lose weight and return your body to a more healthy state, which for a lot of people means losing body fat, you have to think before you eat, right? You, a lot of people say think before you talk, whatever, Think before you eat as well. The next time someone hands you some food, hey, do you wanna try this? Think about that, right? You don't always have to be the stingy bastard that says, no, I don't want that, but think about it first. Make the decision yours. Don't become mindless and make the decision kind of automatic. So the best thing you can do before you take a bite of food, before you sit down for a meal, even if you've prepared it and planned it all out, think about what are the intentions that I'm going to come with when I'm eating this meal? And some of that might sound kind of hippie, you know, nonsense kind of spiritual practice, but in all honesty, it's the right mindset to have whenever you're eating. What are the intentions of this meal? Well, obviously to make me feel full and give me nutrition and all that stuff. Well, what are the best ways in which to make that possible and likely to happen? Well, I could probably eat a little bit slower. I could enjoy the conversation I'm having with someone or if I'm eating alone, maybe I'm reading something. Maybe I just need to take a nice deep breath between each meal or each bite, right? Um, having a calm and collected uh, demeanor whenever you're eating. Um, and this, this has everything to do with digestion. This has to do with what your brain is doing when you're, you know, you're eating. Um, this can affect the, the bodily functions of your digestion, of your food, um, how much you absorb, how much you assimilate. Um, if you're, are you really breaking down your food as much as you think you are? Believe it or not, a lot of that has to do with what the intention of you eating a meal is. And so while I don't necessarily need you to sit down at your meals and think about every single thing that went into it, how it was prepared, what the cow probably thought when it was eating the grass that made the milk that goes into the cream sauce that you're eating on your pasta, I don't need you to do that, but I do need you to kind of collectively bring yourself into the present and just realize that there's a plate of food in front of you and you are going to treat it with respect and you are going to eat it and be calm about it and enjoy it, but not be ravenously kind of, you know, uh, stuffing it down your face. So anyway, guys, start thinking more before you eat, start that practice. And I promise you, if you can start doing that more often, your awareness will go up, which will naturally help your health, help your fat loss and help your overall life. And will make lifestyle changes a whole lot easier as opposed to maybe not even practicing something like mindful eating. All right, guys, thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments down below. You can also leave comments, concerns, criticisms. You can leave a funny joke if you want, that's cool too. Uh, if you like this video, big thumbs up always helps. If you wanna share this video, you can share the video up here somewhere, or maybe it's down there somewhere. Uh, usually a little arrow that shows kind of like a sending thing. You guys know the drill. YouTube's pretty simple by now. Um, share this video with somebody on your social media, on your Facebook page, whatever you can do. Get the consciousness up, get the information out there, the more the better. And then if you guys wanna get notifications whenever I release videos so you can be on top of the latest and greatest video that I've put out, go ahead and subscribe. That'll give you a little notification whenever I make a new video that you can be one of the first people to watch it. And that can be pretty cool sometimes. So anyway, thanks for watching today, guys. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.